George, this is tough for me. Skip, this is tough for me because I really have to divide it up in two, into two parts. Over the last few years, what we've learned about this deadly disease, CTE, is that repeated head trauma, not from a single concussion, but because the head collide on numerous plays throughout the course of a game, that a player or an athlete that's a combat sport or football or whatever the case may be, Skip, greatly increases his chance of suffering from this disease. And I don't want to use Aaron Hernandez as the baseline for 27-year-old football players and this disease because you have to have, you, you have mitigating factors with him. We know for a fact that he had a history of drug abuse. He lost his father at a very young age. Yep. So we don't know how much that played a role into this. He played 40, what is it, 44 NFL games. He played 40 college games. He played 28 high school games. Yet the only people that are being sued by his estate is the NFL and the New England Patriots. Not the University of Florida, not the NCAA, not his high school, not the district. The NFL and the New England Patriots. Skip, now we know for a fact that he had issues in college. He had so many issues and red flags, some teams took him completely off their board. Yep. This is why New England was able to get a first-round talent in the third round. So we know those things. See, what, we, what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to rationalize irrational behavior. He played his last game at, what, 23 years of age in the NFL? Took his life at 27? 40 games, that's what he played. That's 44 games, including the playoff skip. That's what he played. For me, and I don't know if they're trying to pass the cup of sympathy and empathy around, but when it comes to him, I have none. I have empathy and I have sympathy for the lives that he ruined. One Odin, Odin Lloyd, mm -hmm. who mom will never, ever get to hug her son again. He will never, ever be able to give his mom grandchildren. I empathize and I have sympathy for them. The lives that Aaron Hernandez ruined, his family, his daughter. Now, she's going to read what her father did and what type of person that he was. That's who I empathize for. Mm. The CTE, I, I don't look. Should I, should I automatically jump to the conclusion that every 27-year-old that's playing football has the brain of his? I don't know. Like I said, Skip, I don't know if he's the baseline that we want to use given the circumstances that we know about his off-the-field mm -hmm. behavior. I just, it's, for me, there's no longer can an NFL player, I don't know the risk. Maybe I get to say it, Skip. I didn't even know what a concussion was. Got your bell rung, you got mm -hmm. dinged, I saw stars. Yep. Over the last five years, even over the last 10 years, we know more. And I think they're trying to do more. There's a study I was reading that says they're starting to recommend that no one should play football, tackle football, under the age of 12. So basically, I would say within the next five to 10 years, you're going to have to be at least 13 years of age to play tackle football. That's where they're heading. They're trying to make the equipment as safe as they possibly can. The helmets, mm -hmm. they're trying to take contact out of practice, Skip. But you're playing an inherently dangerous game because you're asking larger men to run into larger men at a high rate of speed. There's only so many safety mechanisms that you can put in place because that's not what they made the human body for. The human body was not made to run into other human bodies at a high rate of speed. So I get it, CTE, is it. CTE, NFL, everything, my t timeline was trending. Breaking news, he had uh, the worst state, CTE, in this, but hold, hold on now. Are you not going to mention some of the things that he did off the field? Are you not going to mention some of the things that probably mitigated and, 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 and led to this diminished state? Mm -hmm. CT is bad, and I feel, I feel bad for the people, some of these young men that played this brutal game and suffer from it. There's a good chance I have it, Skip. But I'm not going to try and, and, and rationally, I'm not going to do something and then try to blame it on that because we see that a lot. What we're seeing mm -hmm. is that people do things, mm -hmm. and then they have to have a reason on why they did it. Sometimes bad people do bad things. Okay. So, to your biggest point, from all I've heard and all I've read and all I know about Aaron Hernandez, he exhibited 
what I would call criminal tendencies from a very early age. Correct. Junior high school or middle school and high school in Brist Bristol, Connecticut, where mm -hmm. I worked for many years, and on into University of Florida, real criminal activities. Correct. And you're right. A lot of teams said, will not draft, but he wrote a letter to Robert Kraft and Bill Belichick, which somehow convinced them to take him, and he could play. He was special. He was. So I'm having a hard time connecting the dots here. I just, I'm, I'm going to tell you this again. This is my gut feeling about CTE, and I'm not a scientist, and I haven't done, you know, hundreds of hours of homework about this, but this is my small sample size. I've been doing national TV shows for about 30 years, and over those years, I'm pretty sure I could compile a list of over 100 ex-NFL players I have worked with, and ex-NFL coaches, but, but the players are the key. And a lot of those coaches actually played college right. or pro football. Mm -hmm. Not one do I know, and I'm, I'm close to a whole bunch of them. And by the way, I'm close to a number of older time ex Dallas Cowboys. Not one time have I heard from one of these players, well over a hundred, that they have any symptoms of CTE. Small sample size, you got it. But I sit across from you every day and you're, so to speak, sharp. You know, your mind is razor sharp. Okay, so are you slowly losing memory and the ability to focus and concentrate? I, I don't see it, you're 49. I don't know. Will it manifest itself when you're 59 or 69? I don't know. I don't know. But I want to point out that I read a piece on Yahoo.com that was posted, I think, just a couple of days ago by a neuropathologist named Dr. Peter Cummings. And I don't want to get too technical here, but he studies brain trauma for a living. And he has now carefully studied all the data compiled about CTE because he has an 11-year-old son who is begging him to play football. And he said that he had, for the last three years, banned football from his household, can't even watch a game because he read all the horror stories about CTE and there's no way he wanted his son, his only son, to even get exposed enough to football to start getting the itch to play. Right. So he did his study and he makes a big point. I'm not paid by the NFL. I have no affiliation to the NFL. and. Dr. Cummings discovered that the scientific evidence to support the media's anti-football narrative is, to quote him, lacking. In fact, he said he found bodies of evidence to the contrary. He says that quite a few members of the medical and the research communities are also voicing serious doubts about the current state of science linking concussion to CTE. Right. I'm just throwing out the other side of this right. story to you. And Dr. Cummings concludes, we do not have a complete picture of what causes CTE or how common it is among NFL right. players just yet. It might not okay. be concussion, Skip. It's repeated head trauma. Skip, here's the thing. Do I forget things? Yes, but I'm 49. I'm not 29. Do I get upset? Am I moody at times? Yes. As cancers are moody sometimes, Joe. You know, mm -hmm. crab, we get moody. At it. Okay, I get it. But what? at what part... Do we grow, at, do we age? And people say, you know what? He's just aging. Do we, are we supposed to have a 70-year-old, supposed to have the mind of a 21-year-old that's healthy? I mean, at some point in time, doesn't something, we don't run as fast. Well, is, is it because I got CTU or is it because I got something, I don't run as fast at 70 as I did at 25? At what point in time is there is attrition? Things happen. I don't have the same, I don't, uh, can I, can I just recall? I got great recall, but I can't recall things as I once could. But I like to think it's age, you get older, you don't do things, things don't come as quickly. But I mean, we, at some point in time, we got to factor in all the mitigating circumstances. People that do, th okay, they play football, okay, and they, and they, they commit suicide and we automatically, well, it was football related. Okay, what about his relationship? Was he married? Was he divorced? Was he happily married? What is his financial? All those things weigh in, Skip. Yep. But we just want to lump all this because the NFL, we just want to pile all of this on. The, the dude played 44 games. I played over 300 football games, collision, in my life. 
So to me, high school football can be worse than pro football because you have no idea what you're doing and you're already big and strong and fast enough to create yeah, damage. And you hit every day yeah. in high school football. Oh. We hit every day. Yeah. We used to have, we wore, and, and early, like I said, early in the NFL, we had on pads every day. You thudded up twice a day in training camp. You put people on the ground. But as, they, as the NFL and, and, and people have tried to understand more, they've tried to do more to try to protect mm -hmm. the guys. But moving forward, guys, yep. there's something called assumption of the risk. Mm -hmm. You know I that there's a risk you. are involved right. in playing pro football. Are you willing to assume those risks for financial reward?